I've had my pitball machine out the last couple of weeks. Um, I usually store it in the cellar and then get it out again just so um, that it gets exciting again for the kids. And they do like it, you know, they just walk by here and then play. If they have friends over, they love it. Uh, so I think it's a great toy. Um, but my son uh, had the idea, he said, I want more of those those ramps and rails all over the place. And that got me thinking, uh, one of the differences between this pinball machine and big pinball machines is that if you make some kind of a ramp or so, uh, the ball disappears here. It goes into the score compartment and it's gone. You need the next ball. Whereas with the real pinball machines, of course, each time you do that, it, it triggers a score counter and you get points every time. And you can do that as many times as you're able to and get points for that. So I was wondering if I could make a mechanism that will do that. So I made some concept drawings and uh, one of the things I came up with is that I could do something similar to the extra ball compartment where just the, the playing ball uh, hits on uh, a ball, uh, pushes it out and that would go into a score compartment. Um, but this would mean, of course, that all these balls would be above the table and they would obstruct the view and uh, yeah, I thought I'd, I really want them to be under the table so that they're out of the way. Uh, of course, this could extend to the side of the table or so, so that it's easily refilled. Um, another thing that I came up with, and I had seen something similar in a YouTube video, is... Um, this kind of a lever where the playing ball falls into a compartment up here. It pushes down here and as it pushes down of course this tilts so that the ball falls down and you can continue playing with it. At the same time it lifts up this here and as you can see it's uh, it's on an incline here and what this does is it both acts as a fence for the balls behind and it the incline is used to push the ball at the front out. So the ball at the front is always in, in, um, yeah, locked in place by this and then it can be pushed out once a ball falls here. I think this would work uh, but I think it's a bit too bulky under the table. I think it would be cool to have something faster. So um, I thought of this idea. Uh, so this would be the playing ball. It would run across a ramp here, push this lever that rotates around this axis here, and this then moves this way and pushes out a ball from yeah, this um, the ball storage here. I would need some kind of a spring, a rubber band or so to pull this back every time so that uh, yeah, it can, it can hit the next ball or make space for the next ball and the next time to trigger. Um, this is the top view. Uh, from the side it would look something like this because you know I want it to be under the table so uh, the, the top part of the trigger would be up here. Now this line shows the table and the bottom part would be here where it would push against balls. But no concept is uh, really worth anything unless you show that it actually works. So. I made a proof of concept just with some simple scrap wood and hot glue. Um, so over here, this would be the part that's above the table. The ball runs along here, hits this part, it rotates around the axis here, and pushes one ball out. The key element of this with these blue balls is that they're at an incline both this way and this way so that they're so that they're held against this side and don't fall out too easily at the same time they have to fall out easily um, that's why I cut away a bit over here so that they're really close to the edge and uh, can easily be pushed out. I've attached a rubber band here which is, as you notice, um, not very tight. 
it, it, it mustn't be because else the ball will get stuck on this part here and it, it won't be able to get past the trigger which it has to and it uh, was pretty pretty um, fiddly to get it to work so that uh, it's, it, it both triggers but it doesn't uh, stop the ball. So let me demonstrate how this works. So as you can see it works reliably and I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, stay tuned for some more of this. Thanks for watching.